Hello and welcome back to Matplotlib for Python developers. Today we're going to begin on section 2, Drawing on Plots. In this section, we're going to take a look at how to add all kinds of different annotations and visual guides to our plots, including lines, text, polygons and other shapes, and arrows and pointers. We're going to begin with the simplest kind of annotation, putting lines in place. In this video, we're going to look at adding horizontal and vertical lines, adding spans that cover whole regions, really you can think of them as thick lines, and finally how to add and tweak a background grid. Let's dive right in. As usual, we'll begin by importing our required libraries, and let's make our simple sign plot that we've seen so many times already throughout this video. Now what if I want to add an annotation here? Say a line splits the region between stuff above 0.5 and below 0.5. So say 0.5 perhaps has real good semantic meaning in the data I'm trying to convey here. Well, I can add a horizontal line using AXH line, AX for axis, and simply giving a value in the Y coordinate for that horizontal line. And there you can see I've drawn a horizontal line at 0.5. Now perhaps I want to color this red so that it stands out, and there you go. Now if I want to also add a vertical line, let's say I want to add a vertical line, how about right at that first maximum there? So that'll be at pi over 2. And let's color this red, but let's also make it a dashed line. Let's see what we get there. So here you can see I'm using AX instead of AXH line, I'm going to use AXV line for vertical. And I've specified a color and a line style. And there we go, a nice little annotation. I can also add spans, which use a similar syntax. So let's say I don't want to just add a single line here, I want to actually color a whole region. How about let's say between 0.5 and minus 0.5. So we can do this with a horizontal span, and we're going to go between minus 0.5 and plus 0.5. And as you can see, what we get from doing that is a big blue block. Now, that blocks out a lot of our data, so we'll often times want to customize this appearance wise. So this is just like any other shaded region, something we can give appearance attributes to. So let's make this black and let's give it an alpha of 0.5 so that it's transparent. And there you go. Now you can see, as you might imagine, doing the same thing for a vertical span will give you a region between minus 0.5 and 0.5 covered. And just like any of the other plotting commands that involve areas, you can give this hatches, you can change the color of it, any of the appearance attributes that go to any area, you can apply to these spans as well. You can also set how far across your axis they go. So by default they cover the entire axis, but you can change that quite easily. So let's bring back another span here, keep it blue though. Now if we pass a third keyword argument here, we can give a minimum value. We can also give a maximum value, and importantly these are in the coordinates of the axis. So they go from 0 to 1, and if I do that, it covers the whole axis. So note that in my data dimensions this goes from 0 to 10, but as usual axes always span from 0 to 1 in that particular coordinate system. So, by changing that, I can highlight one half or even one quarter. And there you can see I can zoom in on particular regions. This is a quick and easy way of highlighting particular points of your data that you want to show off to the viewer. So, if something interesting was happening in this range, you can use a span or a line to draw the eye to that thing. You can also apply a background grid which will lay down grid lines, show the reader and the viewer where each of the ticks extends far away from the axis. This is oftentimes 
useful if you want the viewer to be able to draw direct numerical values by looking at pieces of grid or of the plot. So if it's important for your viewer to be able to actually look at a point or a piece of a line and draw out the numerical value of that, grid lines are an easy way of doing that. And like any other set of lines in matplotlib, you have a number of different attributes you can give to these grids. You can color them, so you can change them to red. You can also change the line style. By default, you can see it's dotted here, but you can just as easily turn that into solid lines. So if the dotted line is not to the aesthetic appearance that you want, you can change that quite easily. And any of the other attributes we've seen for tweaking the appearance of lines can be applied to this grid.